Hey guys, let's talk about the Wi-Fi adapter not detected by Windows 11. So here I have a Dell computer, it's working, but the Wi-Fi is not available. See here, when I come to this uh, icon here, there's no internet available. So what I have to do is just check some stuff. So I come first to the control panel. And from here, I come to the network and internet, view network status and tasks. And then here I can come to the change adapter settings, right? So what we're doing here is just check the adapters that I have available. You can see here that I have a Bluetooth network connection and ethernet. This ethernet is just the port that I have available here on the laptop for cable. Can I connect a RJ45 cable here and connect to my router? But the Wi-Fi is not available here, okay? So first thing, check this, if it's not here, just go to the device manager to see if the hardware has some issue there. So here, right click on the window and come to device manager. And here you're gonna look for network adapters. I have just right here. And then you see that I have the Bluetooth device and the ethernet connection, but there is no Wi-Fi, okay? Just ignore the rest here. Just look for the Wi-Fi. It's not here. So what I can do is just come to view and show hidden devices, okay? And now you see that I have the Intel dual band wireless, AC8265. Okay, basically I have a wireless interface here, but it's not available. So let's try update the driver first, right click. You see that I have this option to update driver. Then you can just search automatically for drivers. And it says here that the best drivers for your device are already installed, right? So just uh, search for update drivers on Windows Update as well. It's going to bring up the Windows Update. You see here that I have my Windows up to date. So no problem here. Let's try one more time. Right now, uh, this time, uh, right click, update drivers, and choose this option here. Browse your, uh, my computer for drivers, okay? And here, let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Just select this option. And here, you can check this box to see only compatible hardware, okay? It's going to show a lot of uh, different devices here, see, a lot of them. But I don't want that, I want just a compatible one. So just check here, you see that I have uh, the Intel Dual Band Wireless AC8265 for Intel or for Microsoft. I can just select one of them and try. So hit in next and it update the drivers and I'm good to go, okay? But still, I see here that's grayed out. So it's not working yet. So let's just go to the next step, which is uh, check the ethernet connection. Okay, reset uh, the connection. So you come here to the windows again and here network connections. And from here, have different options. See here, the internet is just right here, but I'm looking for the Wi-Fi, so it's not available. I come to the advanced network settings. And here, I can reset the network, okay? So I just click here, reset. Reset now. Yes. Wait for it to reset. There we go. It's going to shut down, okay, in five minutes after the reset. So I can shut down myself, so I don't need to wait, right? So I just close here and then I reset my computer, okay? And then you, you come back after the reset. So I just come here, shut down or sign out. I restart my computer. Let's restart and check again. Okay guys, so we are back. Next step here is to use the network troubleshooter. So let's just come here to the search bar and type here network and look for the available options here. See network, find and fix network problems. There we go. Internet connections. Just come here to the advanced and run as administrator. Okay. And also check here, apply repairs automatically. So let me just check here. Now I'm good to go. Just hit next. Wait for it to detect the problem. And here I have a problem with the internet. I just click this one. And you see that it could not identify any problem. So it didn't work for this one. I still don't have internet here, as you can see. Okay, next step then is try the services. So I come here 
and I type services. There we go. When I start typing here, I see this option here, services. And here I'm gonna check uh, the WN. So just come all the way down and look for WN and WLM, this one, okay? And this one as well. You see w, WN auto config. So this service here, it must be running. So I can just come here, properties, and put this to automatic, okay? And now, so start the service here. Just start the service and wait for it to finish and let automatic for the startup, right? Hit OK here, and I do the same for WLAN, WLAN auto config, right? It's running right now, but I just need to check here. Properties is automatic, and it's running in this case, okay? So you're good to go. You can restart your computer and check again if it works, or if it's working, right? In my case, it's not working yet. I tested that before, even I restart, it's not working yet. Then the next step is just to issue some commands here, okay? So you just come to CMD, here in the command prompt, right click and run as administrator. Hit yes, there we go. And now it's time to issue this command, net s8 space wing sock reset. Okay, it's going to reset the connections. Just hit enter, you see here, successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset, right? So I just exit here, and I'm going to restart my computer one more time. So I just come here, restart. Let's wait for it to come back. There we go, guys, we are back, okay? And don't forget to leave your comments here if it worked for you, which option worked for you, and also uh, give your thumbs up, right? So we're back here, and you see that's still not working. You see no internet access available. Let me just double check here one more, more time in control panel. And from here I can see network and internet, view network status and tasks, and change adapter settings. The Wi-Fi is not there yet, okay? And if I check one more time here on the device manager, you can try check this every time you do some changes, right? But you come here, the network adapters, it's not yet available, okay, for the Wi-Fi. So let's just try something else. So CMD again here, right click, run as administrator, yes. And then let, let's issue another command here, which is net CFG space minus D. Okay, you're going to delete all the network's adapters, which includes the ethernet, the Bluetooth, and the Wi-Fi, right? Let's just hit enter here. It's going to exclude everything and ask you to reboot your computer, okay? So let me just exit here, or I can just close the window, it's up to you. You can just close here if you want to as well, okay? And now let me just show you here that if I come to uh, the device manager, what happened here, right? After this command, you see here uh, the options for uh, the network adapters. It's not available. See, not here. I have display adapters, everything else, but the network adapter is not available anymore. Okay, that's because I need to restart my computer. So I just come back here, restart one more time. Let's wait for it to come back. There we go, guys, we are back. I hope you are following everything here. Right, let me just now come one more time to the device manager and check if I have the interfaces there. You see that loads up everything here. I have network adapter back and I have just two of them available. Wi-Fi is not here yet, okay? So now it's time to do something different, right? That usually works for most of people that don't have this fixed with those steps, right? This is just the power drain. What I mean by this is just remove every single power from your device and wait for one to two minutes and power it back. For laptops, you need to just connect the cables. Let's say here, this cable here, I'm connecting to the external monitor and also power, okay? And then you turn off your laptop 
and then you remove the battery. Let's say here, you're going to do this. See here, and I'm going to shut down my laptop. Nothing connected here, no uh, uh, external monitors, no power, no pen drive, nothing, right? And then you just close it up and then remove the battery if it, that it's a, an option, right? Right now here, see that I don't have the option to remove the battery. Old laptops, you can do this. For new ones, you can't. Okay, in this case, what you have to do for the Dell Latitude, for example, or also HP, Acer, Lenovo, a lot of them allows you to do this, right? You just remove everything and then you hold the button here for some time. You press and hold this for like 30 to 40 seconds. Just press and hold. And then it's going to flush everything from the components, okay? And then it's going to work. It's going to flush the electricity from the components and then it's going to work. It's going to drain everything from uh, the motherboard, right? If it does, that doesn't work. Some computers like HP, some Acer, some other computers there have an option here. Just need to check. Just go here on the side of the computer and look for uh, a hole where you can insert a clip and hold for some time to just drain the battery, right? That's what it does. Because I have no way to remove the battery, then they have this option with the hole here to insert the paper clip and do this, right? Drain the battery. Well, either it could be here or here, depending on the model. This is a Dell laptop, it doesn't have this, right? But I can do this by pressing the button here, right? And the last option is to use uh, the BIOS. From the BIOS, you can disable the battery and then you can just connect the cables to bring your computer back. So you just disable the battery from the, the BIOS and then wait for one to two minutes. The, the computer will have no power at all. And then you connect your cable and bring it back and see if the network is available. In most of the case, it's available, okay? Let me just uh, logging back here. So you can see if uh, the network is available yet. There we go, I'm back, okay. After the drain, uh, electric drain. And I can check here on device manager if it's available there or not. There we go, network adapters is still not there, okay. So I'm going to try the latest option here with this, the BIOS, right? Let me just uh, restart the computer and get into the BIOS. So one more time, I come here. And now I'm going to restart and get into the BIOS. That depends, uh, to get into the BIOS depends on the brand that you have, the computer that you have there. For a Dell laptop, you just need to press the F2 key several times when the computer is booting up, then you can get into the BIOS, right? And then from there, you can check if you have the Wi-Fi disabled. Sometimes Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are disabled. You just need to test, right? So it's rebooting right now. I just keep pressing here, pushing F2 several times. There we go. Preparing to enter setup. Okay, and now I have access to the setup. Uh, the Bluetooth mouse is not working anymore because here just work with this only the touchpad. Then I come here, see I have different options and I have here wireless, okay? And from here, I see wireless device enabled and I see W1, Bluetooth and WLAN, it's not enabled, okay? That should be the problem. So I just enable here, apply, okay? And let's, let's exit here and wait for it to boot up again and try one more time. Okay, so we are back. As you can see here, I already have internet working, okay? It's available here already. So that was the problem, was the BIOS, okay? You see here that I have a Wi-Fi available. Let me just connect the cable here so I can record the screen and see better. Okay, so as you can see, it's working already with the Wi-Fi. So the problem was the BIOS not enabled there, the Wi-Fi not enabled on the BIOS. So if I come here into Device Manager, now I should be able to see the adapter there, right? So see here, network, you see Bluetooth, 
and dual band wireless it's available now it's not grayed out anymore so it's working pretty fine and i can have access to the internet when i come here to the control panel again and then network and internet your network status change adapter settings i see here the wi-fi it's available okay it's already connected to my network so it's basically working right guys it's a long video i know but just try every single option here, especially the option that you can drain the power from your computer. You can remove the battery if you have this option, or you can use the button trick here to flush the electricity for the mo motherboard. Or if you're using a regular PC, you can just disconnect the PC from the outlet and wait for one to two minutes and plug it back, right? And you can do this one, two, three times to see if it works, because sometimes it's, it, you just bring your computer back, it doesn't work. You do this one more time and it works, all right? So I hope this helps. Please leave your comments here what uh, option worked for you, okay? And if you have some suggestion, if something is different working for you, just let me know. Subscribe to this channel and leave your thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video.